Hello everyone. So today I am here to present my views about uh, is the Corona crash worse than 2008 financial crisis. So I am doing this video as part of our Indian economic policy in the in term three. And I'm, my name is Sai Krishna. I am from uh, PGP 1921 batch. So in May 2018, President Trump restructured and downsized the pandemic preparedness unit. So of course it seems ill judged in retrospect but he was not the first president to do so. So the National Security Council Global Health Security Unit was set up under Bill Clinton in 1998. Uh, years later, first George Bush and Barack Obama would shut it down only to re-establish re it shortly afterward. So this is the fact that bureaucracy have never known how to treat a low probability, high stakes biomedical risk like pandemics. So like pandemics like Ebola, Ebola and also in this Corona come under this. So they sit accordingly within the conventional silos of modern government and models of risk assessment. So that's the reason Trump hasn't given uh, emergency until unless, uh, I mean he is primarily motive on to, to increase the business and uh, he, he haven't, uh, he have neglected the pandemic effect. So in 2008 we saw how financial uncertainty spreading from downturn in real estate and also mainly subprime of fundamental markets from the balance sheets of major banks could threaten an economic heart attack. So it was a it was a massive financial shock piled upon top of loss of household households from a downturn in real estate sector. So that caused economic activity to contract in the worst times over the winter of 2008 to 9 over 75,000 million has jobs are recorded every month so a total of 8 points of million over the course of recession so major industrial companies like gm and crystal stumbled over bankruptcy for the global economy it unleashed what are the main main things and also but in 2008 we can tackle the recession there is another threat with the risk of financial heart attack the recession is different from pandemic so and the financial panic is that whether is to save leave the home or not so in 2008 this is not the problem but now it's it's a come it's entirely different problem and also many countries for example south korea has far weathered from the storm in exemplary passion so its public health measures along with taiwan apart appear in the best in the world but in the panic money flows from the center that is most of the most of the supplies we have seen from the beginning of flow into us I mean like a dollar mention assets by investors but uh, several emerging markets are already coming under severe financial pressure for suppose um, from march 24 indian economy has sensex and nifty has trembled over 30 percent and uh, the, the the downward trend is still ongoing so this will exert civil pressure on countries like mexico and brazil which have large populations relatively weak public infrastructure and fragile management and india is not india is not a, not at all an exception so how how we can deal with this so what we can say is that the swap lines in the current integration were first in put place in end of 2007 so to ensure that funding in the us dollars were not available only for the banks and financial sectors so it, it is available in 2013 these channels were made permanent along the major central banks so the move this past we can lengthen the term of swaps and reduce the interest margin of fed changes so now sbi has reduced its fed rate but uh, but other banks are are yet to come and uh, recently with the advancement of the banking uh, merge so we, we can expect a major major banking uh, fiance is about to come and also major and also the stock price of major uh, major companies and also blue chip companies are uh, continuously falling and uh, which is uh, which is not at all a good sign in the indian market and uh, and the testing rate of india is quite low compared to other countries like south korea and um, japan so where where the downward trend is already happening and uh, china is not an exemption so in this in this current scenario we what we can say is that china will will become again a major may a major power and uh, it will dominate the world as 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 whatever it can so it's up to india how how to tackle the situation thank you